1 Samuel chapter 30, when you get home, read that entire chapter. I'm going to call your attention to expedite time to verse 6. Verse 6, 1 Samuel chapter 30, and verse 6. And David was greatly distressed for the people's sake of stoning him. For the people spake of stoning him. Because the soul of all the people was grieved. Every man for his sons and his daughters. But David encouraged himself. About your newest album, yes. God Did. It God debuted did. at number one. Congratulations, yes. first of all. Okay, where did the name come from? So one day I was sitting on my couch in my house, and um, something I already knew, but you know, sometimes uh, your spirit talks to you and things just come out, and sometimes you say it in your head or you just say it. Yes. And I was on the phone, and somebody was just telling me something so disappointing. You know what I'm saying? I, and you know, when you hear something like that, you look at the phone. Right. You look at like, what's this person saying? You know what I'm saying? And um, I said, let me call you back. And I was just like, my head was down, and I was like, they don't, they ain't believe in us. Then immediately I was like, God did. Like, like ha -ha. the spirit hit me, and not, and I'm telling you the truth. Yes. Um, but just remind myself, Cal, keep your head up. Remember, God got us. You know what I'm saying? And you know what you just heard? That's not true. Meaning, as in like, right. you know. If somebody don't believe in you, that doesn't mean that you're supposed to be down. You know what I'm saying? And you know, I'm, uh, you, you gotta pick, you, if you don't pick your own self up, you know what I'm saying? You know, yeah, you can hear it from me and tell you, but you gotta tell yourself that so it can be real. You know what I'm saying? And, um, yes. and I just told, you know, I, 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 my head came up and I said, God did. And um, I was like, that's the name of my album. Mm. And, um, the fans just started saying it without me. I didn't announce the title yet, but they were already saying it because I kept telling. You know, when, I, when I'm on social media or anywhere you see me, I'm really, I'm talking to the world, but I'm talking to myself too. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I be saying they don't believe in us, God did, and, or, you know, and then boom, I, I come outside and I'm like, God did, people just at a restaurant, God did, God did, God. And I'm like, oh man, look how beautiful it is. They, they connecting with it. Yes. And it's nothing like a blessing to connect with God. If I can help remind people that God is the greatest, mm. beautiful. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So we named the album God Did. You, he, and, and he so did it. Yeah. You got nominated for five Grammys for the yeah. album. Was that a amazing? <laughs> If you like this, that was the whole thing. I played it twice. Get okay. a chance to go online and get that. Um, he was on the uh, Jennifer Hudson show, and she mentioned he had just won uh, an award, a star. He had a star on the Hollywood, and uh, he was praising God for that. And then she mentioned all of the, uh, I think the Grammys, mm -hmm. Grammy nomination he had won. Yes. And when she went down the list of how many Grammys he won, he couldn't respond. He just jumped up and started running. <laughs> we were all up in the audience hugging folk and hitting folk hands. Uh, he's an entertainer. Relationship with God. 
was telling group Friday on Wednesday that, you know, uh, and I've always said that, you don't have to worry about folk calling on the Lord when they're going through a storm. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. yeah. They're gonna, they, they in the hospital, they're going to call on the Lord. Yeah, yeah. The doctor just told you you got cancer, you're going to call on the Lord. You, know? you lost your job. But you know what they don't forget about the Lord is when things start going well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 When God start blessing them. Yeah. yeah. When things are going their way. That's, yeah. That's when they think they are too important to spend time with God. Yeah. But I admire him because. He started talking about how the Lord blessed him and he had children. He had a big old birthday party for one of his children and it was elaborate, but he kept saying he's able to do all that because of God. God did. Yes, God blessed him. If you don't get nothing else, that's the sermon for the day. Uh -huh. We are where we are because God did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the text focuses in on uh, David when he's going through a struggle. Uh, I said, now notice, I didn't say God did it. Right. Listen to me. He said, God did. Right. Yeah. God believes in you yeah. when your support system don't believe in you. Right. Yeah. yeah. Israel and the Philistines were going through a time. They were kind of enemies of Saul. David's running from Saul. Saul wants to kill him. And he decided I better go hang out in Phil Philistia. And, because, you know, he ain't going to be running over there looking for nobody because we ain't all that close. Nobody. Mm -hmm. But I would say the uh, He's there, he went, went on a couple of raids and they were going out fighting some other nation. But it got to the point where Israel and the Philistines were getting all their muscle together to have war with one another. It's one thing for David to go to war against a common enemy of Israel, but it's something else when he has to go against his own brothers. The fellas find leader, the king, he, uh, he was suspect that David became at first, but since David fought so well, he has not been won over. And the king of Philistia was waiting for David to come with him, but when they got ready to go uh, to get the armies together, one of his cohorts said, I don't trust him. He's an Israelite. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Listen, oh, yeah, he, yeah. He's proven himself with me. Yeah. But I said, nah, 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 I'll feel better if he's somewhere else. He might get in the back of the side and switch. Yeah. Instead of him fighting for me, he'd be fighting again. Yeah. Do I have a witness here? Yeah, yeah. And so David is relieved that they ask him to go home. He leaves and goes back to Ziklag. Ziklag. When he gets to Ziklag, he finds a horrible surprise. They've been raided by the Amalekites. And all of the children, the women, the wives, have been kidnapped. All their cows and their sheep, those have been taken away. From and when they come in there, the army is crying, sobbing. They're in great distress. You can imagine if you go home and your home is burned down. Your children gone, your baby gone. You can imagine what they'll do to you. I want to start right there. Then. Talk about the grief. And gone glory. The grief and gone glory. <coughs> David is selected to be the next king of Israel. 
Saul knows it, but he didn't want to face it. Saul's solution is, I'll kill David. If I kill him, that's all I need to do. Mm. David has had two opportunities to kill Saul. But he refused to touch him. I can't touch God's anointment. You decide I'm going to wait on God. Well, I have a witness here. God has been with him. God has protected him time after time from the hands of Saul. God fixed it so he don't even have to fight against his own brethren. And he comes home to find this disaster. All is gone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Isn't it amazing how life can hit you sometimes? Huh. Yeah. 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 Seems like everything is going your way. Yeah. Yeah. And then all of a sudden the bottom drops out. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it amazing how God blesses you and you're bragging about the fact that you have God's favor. Yeah. 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 Man after God's own heart. Yeah. Yeah. And then all of a sudden Everything is turned topsy turvy. Yeah. And your world is all messed up. Yeah. I feel sorry for you folks who think because you serve the Lord, everything's going to go your way. Yeah. You keep on living, you'll find out that God has a strange sense of humor. Say it, say it. Yeah. And to each life, some rain must fall. Yeah. It's not going to always be peaches and cream. You can say what you want. You know, but, but, but God is punishing him and he lost his job because he ain't right. She, she don't come to church no way. He, he's not faithful. I mean, you can just judge other folk if you want, but be not deceived. God is not mom. Whatsoever you plan is coming up again. Yeah, yeah. But when I walk with God, the more I walk with God, the more I find out God has a way of promoting me. But he only promotes me after the test. Yeah, yeah. We want promotion, but we don't want to take the test. And God says, oh, no, no, it doesn't work that way. You're going to have to go through some tests. You, you're going to have some trials. You will have some tribulation. Don't think you're going to just ease on me. So they're down there. They're grieving. And yeah. Grief can do a thing, a, a strange thing to some people. Grief can cause some folks stop coming to church. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so glad see Sister Benny did it today. Right. Grief can cause some folks to stop blaming folk. Right. Uh -huh. Grief can cause you to get mad with God. Yeah. Yeah. Grief will mess you up until your whole relationship system is all messed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bible declare that they they were grieving. They were grieving. They, Got to the point they wanted to play the, the, the blame game. They're grieving. They got to hurt somebody. You know sometimes when you're hurting, you just want to hurt somebody. You don't have a reason. You just want to hurt somebody. You want somebody to hurt like you hurt it. You, yeah. you, they'll say something you don't really mean to say. But since you hurt, you want to hurt somebody else. Oh, and oh, they were grieving. They were crying. They grown men. Some of the strongest men in the world have been whooping on armies all around the nation and now they're crying like babies Amen. because their wives are gone and their children are gone. Yes, and the Bible said they started to grieve. But if that wasn't enough, David got another problem. You see, it wasn't just their wives and daughters. David lost his wife, his wives, and his daughter, or his son, I should say. And, and, and he's in a bad way, but that's not enough. Bible said they also conspired to take his life. Yeah. You see, there's some blame, uh, uh, Roger, that, that, that comes around because just because you're the leader. Yeah, yeah. When you're the man in charge, and sometimes they call they call it leader scapegoat. Yeah. Yeah. They gotta blame somebody, and they can't find nobody else to blame the man in charge. He the one made us leave here with nobody back to protect the family. He the one made us go and we didn't have somebody on the lookout. He's the one who caused us to go and fight everywhere else and we could have been here protecting our own children. Let's do the blame game. And now here is this, this man who is, 
is the apple of their eye. He's the man they want to make their next king. And they switch from making him king to want to take his life. Wow. How do you, how do you go from that? From being on top to being in the toilet? How do you go from being my best friend to not wanting to kill me? You can imagine what they did to David. You know, I was seeing how some people got a support system. What do you do when your support system have turned on you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, some people talk to their friend before they talk to God. Some people take their friend's advice before they take the Lord's advice. But what do you do when your friends have turned on you? Yeah. They want to destroy you. How do you handle that? Yeah. Your friends going to try to give you some instructions. Yeah. I'm trying to get you to see David is in a bad way. Yeah. Yeah. Not only is he grieving, but his glory is gone. Yeah. He's not the apple of their eye anymore. Don't fool yourself. A lot of people put you on a pedestal today. They, they have no problem with kicking you off by the back. Yeah. They'll pick you up today and pull you down tonight. Yeah, yeah. They'll applaud you today and they'll call you all kinds of names. It's kind of like what Jesus experienced when they were saying, Hosanna, Hosanna. I wish I had a witness here. But the same crowd was saying, crucify him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you told me you want to be like Christ. You better understand your life will be like Christ. You, you, you'll be, you'll be Hosanna one day, but they be saying crucify him the next. They'll, they'll, they'll take your name and take it to the mud. They'll, they'll take your name and just ostracize. Don't you feel like it just happens to somebody else? Yeah. That fella, y'all, y'all just voted to put him in prison for life. That Murdoch white boy. That. That lawyer, I, I don't know if the man guilty himself. I know he's guilty of fraud. I know he stole a lot of money. But I'm kind of concerned. All the evidence against him on that murder is evidence. Circumstantial. Hmm. The one possibility you have is you could have taken some drugs. And those drugs got away making you crazy. Hmm. And making you do things you don't do. But I got a problem with convicting somebody with circumstantial evidence yeah, yeah. and acting as though you know yeah. they did it. Yeah, yeah. The judge, I know you're guilty. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I, I, I didn't get that. I don't get that. I, I know how people can turn on folk pretty quick. I know he's not well liked, he's not well thought of. He, he stepped on a lot of folk, he mistreated a lot of folk, but that don't allow you to accuse somebody of something you don't know. Amen. Amen. You know, I mean, they treat him like he's a brother. He's been sent to prison for life all the time on circumstantial evidence. Yeah. Yeah. They do it to a white boy or something wrong. Yeah. I'm going to tell you, that's what happens in life. That don't, don't, don't fool yourself. See, we always want to judge somebody else. Amen. But you can ask yourself, what about if I was in his shoes? Yeah. 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 What do you do when you know you're innocent and all the evidence say you're guilty? Yeah. 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 What do you do when you know you're supposed to be right, but they say you're wrong? Yeah. And you know what? When gossip gets through, they'll make an innocent man seem like trash. We'll have a witness here. But David gives us a lesson. He gives us a lesson today. Yeah. Uh, how do you handle these kind of circumstances? David said, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix this thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm gonna make this thing right. Uh, he decides to talk to the Lord about it. Yeah, yeah. That takes me to point number two, and I won't take it long on two that day on one. Let's talk about God's guidance. God's guidance. David says, I I'm going to talk to God about it. Yeah, yeah. Now, I want you to understand, David did not call on God because he was in trouble. Mm -hmm. The record shows David had a regular conversation with the Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which I had a him. He don't call on him because he's in a tight. He's been talking to him every day. Yeah, you see, some people, the only time you're going to call them when you get in trouble, you don't go to church until Christmas and, and Easter. But, but, but David said, no, no, I called on him all the time. That's why I say he's a man after my own heart. I called on him when I was out there.
Even my daddy's sheep. Calling on them. And I'm out there by myself fighting wolves. Bears. He, he, said, he said, yeah, I call on him then. So I think I'm going to call on him now. So you know what? I, I, think, I think I'm going to encourage myself. Yeah, yeah. In the Lord. My God. Yeah. Which I had a witness here. I'm going to encourage. You know what? You can say what you want, but everybody needs to be close enough to the God, to the Lord, that you need to understand that comes a time in your life you need to forget about your friends picking you up. Sometimes your friends can't pick you up because they're too busy trying to keep themselves above the water. You need to be worried and your support system, your boss, and your, your network. Baby, let me tell you something. Life can treat you a blow that nobody is looking out for you but the Lord. You got to learn how to have you a self-support system. He says, I'm going to encourage myself. When the friends are gone, I'm going to encourage myself. When your little your iPhone don't work no more, you got to learn how to encourage yourself in the Lord. When you aren't getting any more texts and things are not going your way, you got to learn how to encourage yourself. You got to learn how to call on the Lord. Yeah, Some of y'all looking at me kind of funny. I want you not like that little picture. See, I don't know if you've ever been there, but there, there comes a time in life when things just start going wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the folk you thought you could depend on to encourage you, now they're trying to pull you down. Say, say, say. I mean, people you thought you thought, thought the world of you, you know, and next thing you know, they really weren't your friends at all. They really just were sheep, was wolves in sheep clothes. You thought that was your BFF, and they became your FF. I wish I had really. Think about it when you get home. They, they do everything they can to mess you up. Yeah. And you got to understand that, that, that when, when your support system is gone, when things are not going your way, you got to learn how to encourage yourself in the Lord. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You see, the devil, if he, if he can, he'll mess with your head. Yeah. Right. And he'll make you think the whole world don't believe in you. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You pronounce your dreams. Your aspirations and the world is telling you that can't happen. You crazy. God ain't gonna use you. After your history, you think God gonna use you? After what you've done, you think God gonna use you? After the devil has pulled you down like that, you think God gonna use you? And he said, they don't believe in me. But God did. Somebody know what I'm talking about.
Can I find that stuff? Yeah. My wife, Judah, is still alive. Yeah. God said, not only are your yeah. wife and children alive, yeah. okay. but everything they stole, huh. Huh. which I had over there, I'm going to get it back for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at your neighbor and tell me everything the devil stole from you. The Lord will get it back for you. See all of their 
their stuff. Uh -huh. They saw their wives, their sons, and their daughters. Uh -huh. They saw their cows, uh, yes, and their sheep. Yeah. They could see all of their stuff. Uh, uh -huh. But more importantly, the stuff really wasn't that well protected. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The enemy yeah. was so busy celebrating their demise. Uh -huh. The Bible said they were partying and celebrating. Uh -huh. I think I'll tell you, you ought to be careful celebrating taking somebody else's stuff. The Lord has a way of turning your celebration uh, into a horror story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were celebrating all of the stuff they had, not just from Ziegleg and David, but the stuff they had received. Uh, from all of the places they had raided. Go ahead, go ahead. You see, when the Israel army and their uh, cohorts had come together to go to war, uh -huh. they left their homes unguarded. Uh -huh. When the Philistines, uh, Philistines came together to war, uh -huh. they left their homes unprotected. Yeah, yeah. And the Bible declared that, that uh, the raiders went in and, and cleaned house. Uh -huh. In other words, there was a whole lot of good stuff to be had. Yeah. So they're celebrating. Uh, they got more things that they know what to do with. Yeah. They got spoiled uh, that they really can't count it all. Yes, they so rich, they are filthy rich. Yeah. And all they can do is party and have a good time. Uh -huh. Eat, drink, and be merry. Yeah. yeah, do I have a witness here? Yeah. Yeah. They're easy yeah, and ready for the pickets. Yeah. yeah, and you see, uh, it's nobody but the Lord. Yeah. They didn't have to put them to sleep. Yeah. They didn't have to mislead them. That God brought them in where they were victims of their own celebration. Yeah. And the Bible declared that David and his men went on in there, defeated the army, and chased some away. The only ones who got away were the riders on the camels. Uh, yeah. yeah, but uh, yes, uh, the Amalekites uh, were destroyed uh, and all of the possessions uh, were regained. Uh, David uh, got all the stuff uh, and David, uh, yes, uh, was used by God uh, yeah. to bring home the victory. Uh, yeah, I don't sound like y'all want to celebrate. Uh, you need to put yourself in David's place. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And realize when you lost your valuables. Uh -huh. And the Lord has uh, replaced them. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. You want to be ready uh, to say, God did. Yeah. 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 I got a problem with some of y'all at church. Uh, you don't want to give him uh, enough praise. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah.
Yes to you, we.